Hi, I'm Bob from the Beancast. Peter from Shango.com. And it's time for the two-minute rundown for Tuesday, February 7th, 2012. The timer is running. Let's get started. Um, Viggle. Viggle is a new app. It's kind of like one of those mobile check-in apps for media, um, much like Into Now and Get Glue, only it's for advertising. Um, I played with an early version of this. It was it was pretty interesting app, but will consumers really want to check into their advertisements? It, it honestly depends on what they're going to get back from it. You know, if yeah. there's something useful, and it has to be, I'll tell you right now, it has to be better than just a freaking badge. Yeah, badge absolutely. If there's something they'll get back for it, they check it out. If not, it's going to die very You know, quickly. one of the first complaints I had of the original app that I played with was, this, was the fact that it was all about more information. But I think that they've got it figured out that they need to offer rich offers. And I think that's going to make the difference. That, you know, when you check in, you know you're going to get a good coupon. The interactivity of that in real time can give them great things. But again, if it doesn't exist, and they better realize that if it doesn't exist, there's going to be no point. You know, Twitter has a new policy out uh, about blocking posts in certain countries. Caused a lot of controversy when this news came out. But, you know, a lot of the pundits, as they started to unpack it, it's not such a bad thing. It's, it's kind of just their response to the fact that certain governments are giving them crap about posts, and, they, and they've got to respond for legal reasons, so like for WikiLeaks. Post, etc. If they didn't, if they didn't do it, they'd be banned in the country altogether. So it's really, you know, if you have to do it, it's the least, most, least intrusive way to do it. I don't have a problem. It is a slippery slope, though, because when you get into anything to do with um, um, uh, uh, censorship, you get into trouble. But the other option was being kicked out of the country altogether, and had that been the case, we wouldn't have seen anything from Egypt. We wouldn't yeah. have seen anything. At least, you know, they're not kicking them out outside the United States, so if, if Egypt is protesting again, we're going to see that here in the U.S., which is what they want to begin with. Right, right. And Google is positioning ads as search answers now. You know, the big thing about the new um, ad program was to get more ads below the fold and the search uh, um, search results more relevant, it doesn't seem to be going that way. It seems like they're going to be you know, searching ads. That was only a matter of time. I mean, it really has to come, you know, what, what makes money? Google ads make money. Search right. is not making Google money. Ads are. So it really was going to have to come down to ads. I hear a barking dog. Yeah, the barking dog. We are out of time. I'm Bob Norp. I'm Peter Shankman. And that's our two-minute rundown. Tune in tomorrow for another two-minute rundown.